What is going on folks? Welcome again to another video. Today we are going to talk about how to add a new client sub account in Go High Level. And if you sign up for Go High Level using our affiliate link below, you'll unlock an exclusive extended 30 day free trial plus over $2,000 worth of bonuses, including a professionally designed landing page template. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, to get started, Let's go to your agency dashboard and click sub accounts. And here you will see all the list of your client sub accounts. So we're now going to add a new sub account. Click add sub account. And you will see all the templates that you have available from go high level. Uh, what's good about these templates is that if you click the setup guide, you will see all the available templates, uh, website templates, sales funnels, uh, forms, email campaign templates, and all of those good stuff um, under each template. So let's say we're going to create a new client sub account for, um, let's say, a coffee shop. So uh, the closest that I have here is the uh, the bakery. Well, you can always um, go ahead and uh, create uh, t a template or a sub account from scratch yourself. But uh, since we're going to we're going to save time, and we're going to maximize all the benefits of the templates, we're going to choose this one. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is to enter the uh, information of the business that you're going to support. So add account manually and fill out all the necessary details or information for your uh, client sub account. Or to save time, you can also um, search for your client's business. Um, if they already are registered, um, uh, globally on the internet or on Google. So click here and, uh, manually search for the business. So let's say this, and you will see all the results here. So choose the correct business name and you will auto populate some of the essential information, especially the address here. So for the missing details, just fill it out um, for your client sub account. All right, so now we have filled out the missing details that are required for our um, new sub account. So let's say we're going to set up uh, this business name for our coffee shop. So click save. And now we just created a new client sub account. So let's just quickly look at some of the uh, sections of the basic details. So here is the account. So first name, last name, email address, phone number, um, general info. So the address, um, website, um, time zone. Time zone is uh, very important. So you could um, set up your automations and certain triggers and then social profile. So if you want to add all the social profiles of your uh, client sub account, you may do so. Um, add new tasks or notes and add a new service. So these services though are paid. So once you click um, the services, it will lead you to the add-on sections. You may opt to purchase one of these add-ons so it could definitely help you and your client set up their sub account. So let me show you the other tabs on the uh, sub account section. So usage limit, this is um for setting up how many users are allowed to uh be in the sub account um contact limit how many uh contacts should be allowed to be uploaded um to the uh, sub account so let's say we activate these two so it depends how many users or how many contacts you would like to um allow in the sub account Next is rebilling. So these services, you can uh, resell them to uh, your client as well as these for reselling. So these apps, you can resell these apps to your client. So you have to buy them um, from high level at their uh, standard price. And then it's up to you how much you're going to uh, resell it to your clients. Uh, we also have marketplace apps. So same thing, uh, you have to uh, set this up for uh, reselling for the advanced settings. So this is where you see the limit of the SMS and emails for your uh, SMS and email campaigns. 
All right, so now that we're done uh, with the basics of the uh, sub account, so let's go ahead and manage our sub account. So click switch. And now you can manage your client's sub account. So your client would also see this um, dashboard right here, all the settings and apps here on the left side. Um, and like what we uh, talked about earlier, so we already have um, templates ready for this uh, sub account. So let's say funnels, we already have funnels, uh, we already have a website and all sorts of those good stuff. All right, so now we've fully set up the uh, client sub account. You wanna make sure that you give your clients access to your sub account. And for us to do that, let's go to settings and go to my staff and click add employee. And here you can input all of the necessary details for your uh, client sub account. Um, you have to make sure you enter their email as well and give them a default password. You can also configure their roles and permissions, uh, what they can use or what they can configure in the client sub account, call and voicemail settings, user availability, uh, make, make sure to uh, choose a time zone as well and calendar configuration. All right, so there we go. So we just added a new user um, in the in the team. So this certain role is an admin, but you can always um, configure it if you just want it to be a user or an admin. So when you go back to this list, you will see that we have successfully added a new employee. And that is it. You've just learned the basics of adding a new client sub account in Go High Level. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. And don't forget to use our affiliate link in the description below to sign up for Go High Level and get an extended 30 day free trial, over $2,000 worth of bonuses, and a free landing page template. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.